Hey guys, Foxtrop here with another live game commentary. Today we are playing Lethality Voy. Why not mix a broken solo queue champion in Vi with a broken solo queue build, Lethality? Yeah, since the Thunderlord, since the Courage nerfs, it's better IMO. So first things first, made to talk about the mastery since Gangplank has segued us nicely into this. Runes of masteries, I'm AD Reds, attack speed quince, army yellows, whatever blues you want to run. I'm masteries, I'm 12, 18, 0 Thunderbolts. Now Vi was really busted with Courage of the Colossus, really strong, but that got nerfed and I kind of feel like Thunderbolts Vi is fine. Depends how you want to play and obviously if I'm going for a, um, you know, like a damage build then it's even better. Before we get on to that, you know, talking about the game and stuff guys. I'm going to talk a little bit about some real life stuff here, okay? Right? I'm not going to get too deep or anything like that, don't worry, but just to let you know what's going on. <clears throat> if, if you think I sound like death right now, uh, this is my I've just woken up voice. Usually I need to give myself like an hour or so uh, of being awake before I can record anything or, you know, whatever, because I, I, I sound like I'm really ill. Like you guys probably listen to this and you probably think I sound really ill. I'm not ill, I'm fine. I've just woken up, <laughs> um, but I, I wasn't able to give myself like an hour or whatever to, to warm up my voice or to just, you know, my voice to warm itself up, whatever you want to call it, because I am going to be leaving very soon, traveling three hours to go do some shit. Because I don't know if you guys know what, uh, know this. Yesterday, if you're following my Twitter, you uh, may, or you're just scouring Twitch or whatever. You may have seen that I was doing a Halo Wars 2 Invitational yesterday. Oh fuck, I'm against Ivan. Fuck me, I'm retarded. Oh my goodness. Halo Reach, two, Halo Wars 2 Invitational, which basically consisted of me playing a game I never played before, just having a laugh and stuff. It was great. It was great fun. I didn't do as bad as I thought I was gonna do. Um, but I, you know, it was three hours away. I traveled up there to the ESL studios actually. Traveled up there and then did that shit and then, you know, when I was up there, but what someone who works for ESL said to me, "Yo, we need a caster tomorrow for the, uh, for the prem. Do you want to come down?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I love doing casting. I really enjoyed it when I was there last time." So I had to travel three hours to get there, three hours to get back. Oh fuck, he went to get a charm. Uh, three hours to get back. No, what was that? My second one I just turned off. <laughs> Did you see that? It just froze for a second. My game, whatever, it's fine. I charged my Q because I'm. I thought he was going to face check me here to put a ward down, but it was just collecting a chime. Unlucky. But anyway, so I traveled three hours to get to this event, did the event stuff, and then I was told, yo, do you want to come back tomorrow to be a caster? And I was like, okay. So I traveled three hours to get back, and now I've got to travel three hours to get there as well again to do some casting. Now you may ask, why didn't you just stay there? Well, that 100% pure honest answer for you there, my friends, is that uh, is the A word, anxiety. For me, it's kind of difficult to do these events. Well, it, like, it kind of is, but I want to branch out and do stuff that's in my uncomfort zone so that I can, you know, improve just how I am, you know, as a human being. Um, and so that I become happier in myself. But... You know, is this warded or some shit? Why's Bard disappeared? You know, I'm probably not gonna get, get any shit done here. Boom. I'm I'm wasting time once you're doing this shit, aren't I? So you know, I want to do that extra stuff. You know, I want to be able to put myself out there a bit more. And for me to, you know, to do, to stay overnight, that's difficult for me. So I'm gonna. So I know it's like really. You might just think, holy shit, so you travelled home for three hours, and now you're going to travel back for three hours just because you can't stay overnight. And I'm like, yeah, that's exactly it. And it may sound a little weird. <laughs> it is a bit weird. But, you know, when you've got anxiety and stuff, if you guys suffer from something similar at home, you know, whatever. It's all about baby steps, you know, just doing stuff that you're comfortable doing and then build up confidence. And if, you know, if you've got to do it a certain way right now, then do it that way right now. And then when you feel better about it all, do it. You know, then you can branch out and do it another way. But, you know, just don't feel ashamed about how you got to do things. That's something I've got to learn, that I learned, is that at first I was very ashamed about everything and how I felt like I was, like, people had to, that I had to take special, 
special awareness or what I don't really know what I'm trying to say here. You know, like special special fucking thingy my bobs, you know, just just so that I could do what I needed to do. And I always felt really bad about it. But just do what you gotta do guys. Just do what you gotta do. And then you work on it. That's all it is. There's no there's no rush, there's no expectations. The only expectations you suffer are the ones that you put on yourself. And expectations always lead to disappointment. That's fine. You know, don't feel bad. Just do what you gotta do, boys. Just do what you gotta do. So, that's that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be casting this evening, basically. 7pm, I believe it is. Either It was 6pm last time, but I think it's 7pm this time. I'm not 100% sure on all that shit, so... You know, 6 or 7, one of those two. Uh, I'll be tweeting about it on my Twitter, at FoxdropLol. I'm hosting it on my Twitch page, which is twitch.tv slash Foxdrop. Uh, those links are always in the description, guys, for, for ease of access. But the actual Twitch uh, link is twitch.tv slash ESL underscore lol underscore UK, I believe. So yeah, it's going to be casting some, some UK League of Legends. So yeah, come down and watch, and hopefully it should be a lot of fun. Anyway, let's talk a bit more about this game, shall we, boys? So today I'm playing Vi, as you probably guessed. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I've not done anything this early game, really. I tried to do some stuff a bit early on against the Bard. But it doesn't didn't really work. Didn't really turn into anything. Um, against, you know, bot lane. And so instead, I just decided to farm. Because when you, when you farm on Vi, that's also fine. Because Vi's level 6 is really strong. Like, one of the reasons why Vi isn't seen too much in competitive play is just because of her early game. If her early game was better, you would see Vi a lot more. If I can get this, I'll hit level 6 here. There we go. If Vi's early game was better, you would definitely see her a lot more in competitive play. Ooh, I almost got you, Tree Man. I almost got you. Let's see if I can ult this bitch here. Come to Papa! <laughs> we got her. Beautiful. Now, Victor is missing. So I'm going to go ahead and just not chase that shit. But yeah, so Vi's early game is not her strongest point. Uh, she's not like terrible in the early game or anything like that. You can certainly get stuff done, but you know, against the strong early game meta junglers, if you run into whoops, I didn't even mean to press Q here. If you run into people like Elise or Lee Sin or Kazix or whatever, they're gonna just completely out pressure you. And for for competitive, that is dangerous because then you know if, uh, good teams can kind of snowball for that kind of stuff. But in solo queue, it's fine. You know, you can farm up to level six and you just become really strong at level six, so it's all good. I want to talk a little bit about what I did in the early game here, guys, about specifically my jungle pathing. Uh, I realized I was chatting shit to you guys. I didn't realize I was playing against Ivan. Um, or I forgot I was playing against Ivan, I should say. Uh, specifically, what Ivan does pretty much every single game. Ho am I going to die to these? Waft! Holy shit. Specifically, what Ivan does um, is in the his first clear... He will just he will counter jungle your top side camps. So there's nothing you can do about it. So what he'll do, right? Um, I will quickly demonstrate for you what exactly this Norbed of a champion does. So what he'll do, right? Is when this blue buff spawns, or if he start if he's on like if he, if I were playing Ivan when my red buff spawned, um, he would tag the buff, move over here. Uh, sorry, he tagged the buff. Tag the mini camp, then move over here. Q over to the, uh, Q over to the to the enemy top side buffs. So my red buff in this case. Just tag it, smite it, run away, and then go back into his jungle. And with that, by going back into his jungle, all of the the, t the camps that he tagged would be up. I don't know if we should fight this. I think we actually could fight this. Oh shit! Not if I miss my Q. Ah, I don't want to lose anymore. If I hit my Q, I think that was all good. I did say I'm not sure if I want to do this. I did say I'm not sure if I want to do this. Yeah. And I, we shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have listened to the pings, man. I shouldn't have listened to the pings. I shouldn't have gone in with the pings. But if I hit my Q, would that change anything there? Mm, I think my ult just came up, so I don't think that was up. I don't know if, yeah, well maybe, maybe that would have changed something. I don't know. It's significant enough that I should just say that that was impactful. But that really sucks, honestly. 
That was really, really bad. T Apparently, Gangplank's TP just came up as well. So he his TP was like five or ten seconds off of being useful, which is really sucks. Anyway, basically, Ivan always takes your first camp top side, so just counter jungle his his bot side camp. He never starts bot side, so just run into his jungle and just take that. If he if you run into there and it it's up still, sorry, and it's not up, then he's probably not even on, done your top side buff, so. It's not too bad. But anyway, because his mouth right now has double buffs, I do want to go up top side and try and help him a little bit. Or help Gangplank against Malphite, because he's going to be a bit hard to deal with here. So, uh, I feel like there's potential in this top lane to do something. Vi does a lot of damage, regardless of the item build of the enemy. Well, whoever you're playing against, I guess. Um, and I've got my ultimate up as well. Oh, it's not a double buff, it's just red buff. Oh, it's better, isn't it? I've got my ultimate to save as well, which I'm just going to use now. He doesn't have his ult, I know that. Can we not fight this at all? Don't pussy out on me, bruv, come on. Holy shit, this guy, this guy baited the crap out of me. He's even set up two barrels here. Jeez Louise, buddy. He weren't happy with that, was he? Okay, this, is, this has become a questionable play. <laughs> Don't know what that was. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that was a definite. That was a definite case of. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. And someone else being, I want, I still want to do this. And then, yeah, that was just really painful. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, if Gangplank had stayed with me on that one, we definitely would have just mopped up Malphite really fast, and then I would come back in. Yeah, it wouldn't have been a problem, but I saw a key for you in it. Really, I can't knock him out of that shit. Whatever. All right, I don't know if Victor knows I'm here or not. I think he does, but I think I can probably still take this without Victor killing me. No worries, we get it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Victor was missing though, so do have to be a little bit respectful of that one. Uh, I would love to get a lantern here. I think, I think, don't take that. Oh my fucking god. You weren't meant to take that lantern, Caitlyn. That was my lantern. Uh, I think he's dead, right? He is dead. Yikes. Changed my mind. <laughs> Good shit. Victor's also missing here as well, so we'll run away here. I had to use my flash there because of bloody Caitlyn to my lantern. Fresh even did the perfect, like, flash initiation with the lantern there. <laughs> Whatever, Vars dead, that's okay. But we're going to get out of here. And now we are going to go into our Lethality build. Because we are going to be playing Lethality Vi today. Um, I don't think Lethality Vi is necessarily... Well, I don't, like, Triforce is such a good item on Vi that it feels like if you don't get it, you're kind of just not playing Vi to her greatest potential. But, I mean, let's play with Lethality, shall we, and just see how it goes. Um, I don't know whether I want to go full squish with it, though. Well, Lethality is pretty much full squish. Basically, what, I'm, what I mean is, I don't know whether I want to rush Yumu's or rush Edge of, Edge of Night. Fuck, he's already got my red buff. And my chickens. Oh my goodness, Malphite took my red buff and my chickens. Yo, fuck you, Malphite. That's BM, bruv. That is BM as shit. I probably shouldn't use my Q here. I should probably just blast gun over there, honestly. Because this, like, my Q is also my escape, so if I use my... Escape to initiate. It's always risky. Anyway, I guess we can try and do something topside. Uh, I have my ultimate up. I've got red smite up as well, which actually does help versus Malphite, but... Look at that. One combo. Still being baited here, but that's whatever, I guess. He should still die, though. Uh... Oh, I should not make plays this gangplank, man. He baits me every time. He baits me every single time. He was bad, man. I think he's gonna die here as well. He might be able to buy some time, though. For some reason, Daisy's just like doing work, though. Jeez Louise. Uh, this is starting to get a bit annoying, though, actually. Uh, that that Malphite was, again, just one team play away from dying. I know he was far away, right? I know he was far away. Like, you, you guys might, might say, oh, he's under his tower, what are you doing? The point is that I'm coming in and he's can, he should see me coming in and then, like, not react to the play 
but be ready for when I'm coming in to make the play with me. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. He doesn't look like he had any idea I was there until I was already on top of Malphite. And even then he reacted kind of slowly. So yeah, it's just unfortunate, I guess. I'm trying to make play. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I want to say that these plays are bad plays. But I, I feel like if with just a, just a little bit more awareness, there's something like really silly like that to say like, oh, you know, just be aware that I'm coming in, then it's a good play. Which I, I, I actually feel like it is a good play as long as... But, I mean, I, I also should argue that if my teammate doesn't know that the play is happening, it's not a good play. So I should pay more attention to that shit. I should be like, yo, spamping my teammate or some bullshit like that. I'm going to come in on this dickhead here. He's now, like, a lot harder for us to kill. So I don't have my ultimate here. He's got his flash as well. That is a very tricky wall to flash, not going to lie. That one does require a lot of practice. Oh my god, you're not TPing to that game plank. Just use your ultimate. Holy shit. Just use your ult on the minion wave. God damn it. I don't know if I can 1v1 this guy with my ultimate. Yeah, this game plank's a bit of a problem, isn't he? I'm tempted to, but I don't think it's a good idea. He's got courage, which only works with his ulti, but I think his ulti's probably up again, right? I would be surprised if it wasn't. Yeah, man. If you guys watch my stream, you know I hate playing with gangplanks. <laughs> I hate having gangplanks on my team. The same shit happens every time. I always try and make aggressive plays, and they can never make the plays with me. Or they just don't. I don't know what it is. I just It just really clashes with my style, you know? So I'll make certain aggressive plays with certain aggressive assumptions. Like, yo, let's kill this guy because we can kill this guy. And then the gangplank's always like, nah, fuck that shit. So, I don't know what it is, man. I just can't play with gangplanks. I just I need to chill out a lot more with gangplanks or some shit like that. I, I just can't do it. It just does not match my playstyle whatsoever. It really doesn't. I can't, I can't do it. What the fuck is this guy doing? Get him. Nice. I think, did we get that? Or did, yeah, we got that as well. Good shit. Nice. See, like, that play there, if that was Gangplank instead of Malphite there, he would have buggered off already, man. <laughs> he would have been running back to his top lane or some shit like that. He would not have been with me making that play. That's for sure. Block it. Oh my goodness, I'm going to die. Holy fuck. I need to die to the Vixer. Good lord. Oof. Mm, I don't know if this is a good one for us to take. If I won on like 0% health, maybe that would be a better play, but... Bruv, what's going on? What's happening here? This game is last. It's also the same, you know, that's something I have to question, right? Why pick one of the biggest scaling late game champions in the game? So a champion that, you know, is very good late game. And honestly, not that good early game. Like, Gangplank has so many losing matchups in lane. Like, if you've got a Gangplank on your team, you can expect him not to win lane, basically. Which is, which is understandable, right? If, you, if you've got a champion who's so good late run into the game, it would be silly for him to also destroy the, the early game, right? So Gangplank doesn't have too many, like, strong matchups in the early game. So you expect him not to have the best showing in the early game. Yet, he always gives up after the early game. It's like, bruv, don't pick Gangplank then. If you want to win lane... You know, if you're going to give up before lane phase is over. I'm so done. So I should have flashed. I should have flashed the stun there. I think Jinx is dead. Oh, no. Ah! I should have flashed the stun, man. I, I thought we would kill him before, but that was not true. Holy shit, she's going to die. That was an interesting Jinx ult. Yeah, this game's done, though. Gangplank's still got his ult, mind you. FF. Good job, FF. Holy shit, this guy's so negative. Yeah, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a killer, that one, isn't it? Bit of a killer. Don't play GP. <laughs> oh god, people are so angry. Well, I wish I had more time to record a better gameplay for you boys and girls. But sadly I don't. So I'm gonna vote no though, because I want a bit of a better game. Um 
than this one. I don't feel like this is a, this is a good game. So I don't like. I don't like giving you guys a really shit game. All we did was like run around and just make aggressive plays that didn't work. That's all we've done. So I'd rather get a bit more plays under my belt before we surrender this one. So let's see if Jinx comes down here to catch this wave. If she does, then we might be able to pop her. Uh, she would be the only person here. I don't think she's going to come down though. Oh, but Ivan is... Of course. Why wouldn't Ivan be here? There's so much for him to take on this bot side of the map. Nah, I, Ivan shouldn't be here. I, Ivan, at this stage of the game, is like a, just a support. There's just no reason for him to be there. Like, I'm not complaining because nothing happened, obviously. But in general, like, if you're playing Ivan, I mean, if, if, if he was like a split push jungler, I guess it would make more sense. You know, you want to put pressure on a side lane. Did she zap Mouth Mazar? I think she zapped Mazar. No. Nice. That was cool, but it's not going to do anything, I don't think. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get level 11 here. Oh my goodness, they're diving. Of course they're diving. Why wouldn't they dive? There we go. Gangplank all ain't up. But I'm going to come in and try and destroy this Jinx. Come on! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna get so angry there, man. <laughs> I was gonna be like, no, come on, man. <laughs> Alright, good shit. This is why we need to level 11, guys. Mid open, it's not. Thresh just tilted. Don't lie about being open, guys. It's a very selfish thing to do. You know, you can't lie about that shit. Just play the game. If you've got teammates who want to play the game, just play the game. Sometimes I give up on games as well. I'm just like, yeah, I don't want to play this game anymore because I don't think we're going to win. Uh, so therefore, it's a pretty big waste of my time. But I don't, like, if I, I surrender vote, and if my team doesn't want to surrender, then I play the game. Because I'm not going to ruin the whole game for, all, for the other people that think we can win. Cheeky. Anyway, we don't have, like, any tower. Well, we got one tower bot side this game, but we don't really have any towers. we got one. <laughs> So let's try and maybe push this in and do something. I don't know if we can dive Jinx here. I would be surprised. Nice. Lethality boys. Whoa, we want, I don't know if we want to keep going. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. If Thresh wants to shit, let's do it. I'm not going to bait. I'm not going to bait this guy. Good shit. See, that? that's the thing, you know. I've already made the mistake once of listening to him. But I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt. And... Except that he's a he's a great League of Legends player, a superior strategist. He knows what's going down. My second monitor, by the way, unplugged like ten five minutes ten minutes into this game. I don't know, like you heard the nuglu shit. That was my monitor unplugging. Well, it's I don't know. It, it's doing this. It's really annoying. It just like stops working. I don't know why it stops working. There's no reason for it to stop working. But yeah, it does. I feel like we should take this fight. Let me ult the victor. Fuck's sake. That vision was really bad. If this, if we lose this 3v5, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I just want to double check that. Okay, apparently, oh shit. No, I've had this up there the whole time. Fuck, I'm sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize that. Alright, that's a bit of a rough one. It's a bit of a rough one, but I believe... In fact, I actually may have to surrender this one. Maybe it's maybe it's in my uh, best interest. I need to go. Anyways, if you gotta go, don't queue up. I mean, I this sounds super critical, right? Because I actually need to do something, but I would not risk. You know, I wouldn't ruin someone's game because of it. But whatever. How did I spice snow? You know what? That's actually a, that's a fair retort. If he didn't know he had to go, then that's fine. Use your psychic. How do you spell psychic? I'm dead. Oh no, it's bad. Okay. Are they not on it? They should be on it. I think. 
shit he's your psycho bitch. Yeah, this guy is fucking doing as if he's as if he's taking that shit seriously man i just told him to use his psychic powers to know he had to go afk i can't even get over this wall can i where's the hero still we, we need the uh the gangplank all right the gangplank old hero still all right let's do one more fight boys if we lose this one we'll surrender all right my team's pretty tilted anyway. They want to surrender regardless. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking do it, boys. A oh, nice, nice edge of night block. Good shit, Foxy. Alright, we don't really want to tower dive, but do we have much of a choice? I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna do it. Should we do it, boys? Should we just buddy waltzing under this tower? Okay, it'll be a really bad idea. Caden is struggling against the bloody super minion, for goodness sake. Alright, who do we focus? Jinx or Victor? Victor. Alright, let's go for him then. Alright, well... <laughs> there's that. <laughs> oh dear. Let's do it, lads. Alright, I didn't work too well, did it? Alright. GG. Alright guys, so I can bring out a better gameplay for you. Normally I would just, you know... As if this guy's raging, man. Why is he raging? We had a DC, the game's over. You don't have to rage, man. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, normally I would probably not upload this gameplay because, you know, just a few silly mistakes in the early game kind of ruin ruin the game. Um, but I don't have time to record another one. And I think this was still an okay-ish gameplay. So I'm going to take my hint of lemon wet wipe that I acquired from a KFC a few days ago. That's still on my desk for some reason. Uh, and just go over my face with it because I still have the production makeup on from uh, yesterday. So I, uh, you know, probably shouldn't do that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video, boys and girls. I apologize for the quality of this gameplay, but still, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a wonderful day. Hope to catch you on the on the uh, on the cast this uh, this evening. ESL underscore lol underscore UK on Twitch. Or just go to my channel because I'm hosting it. And I'll see you in my next.